Hey guys, today I will show you how to draw a fantasy hourglass with day and night scenery inside it. You can go ahead and download the color palette and brushes in the video description before we get started. If you like these tutorials, be sure to have a look at my Patreon where you can access even more tutorials and Procreate brushes. You can check it out via the link below. Without any further delay, let's begin drawing! I will be working on a vertical canvas with the dimensions of 2000 by 2500 pixels. Before getting started, I'll go ahead and change the background color into dark purple from the palette. After that, I'll pick the color that comes first and select Studio Pen for drawing. To be more accurate, I'll be using Drawing Guides. Let me open the settings and change the grid scale to 200 pixels. I will also change the grid color so it's visible but not very distracting. Let it be this blue. Clicking Done. Alright, here's the central axis and I will put these two marks at the same distance from the canvas sides. Drawing a line this way. Tapping to make it perfect. Now let's draw an arc here on the left. I'll click on Edit, make sure the shape is closed and drag the color into it. I'll make the corners sharp using a razor. Then I will duplicate this layer Flip it vertical and with magnetic option drag the shape down this way. Let's merge these two layers and duplicate the resulting layer. I'm going to bottom layer. Clicking on Transformation and dragging it down very carefully. Let me move it closer, go back to Brush, make the size smaller and draw a vertical line from this corner to connect these two shapes. Doing the same on the opposite side. I'll close the shape on top and fill these two gaps. When it's done, we should create a new layer and place it underneath. We will draw a similar shape at the lower side and the guides will help us be more accurate. I'll put a dot here and draw a straight line at the same level as the shape on top. And here I'll draw an arc this way. Let me fix the corners. And fill this shape as well. Then I'll duplicate this layer. 
flip it vertical and move it down to make the corners match. Let me zoom in to be more accurate. I'll erase here. Alright, let's merge these layers too and I'll make the corners sharp. Of course we could simply draw two arcs on top of the canvas and two more at the bottom, but since I'm an engineer and also a perfectionist, I love using guides and such drawing techniques. So I'm duplicating this layer, going to this one and dragging it down to approximately same distance as the ones on top. Then I'll draw two vertical lines on both sides. Connect the invisible part and fill these triangles with a color. Well, the basement for the hourglass is done. Now let's create a layer here in the middle. I'll select this color from the second column. And draw a vertical line this way. Draw another one on the right. That is a bit longer. Here I'll connect these two lines with an arc. Close the shape on top and fill it. We'll do the shading later. Now I will create another layer for the glass shape. We can actually pick any color. I want to use this contrast in light blue. And to draw the glass I'll be using vertical symmetry. Just changing the color and clicking done. Let's find the visual center of this vertical axis. And I'll draw an arc going to the side a little lower. I'll edit it and make the bottom part more round. Then let's draw another small arc this way using quick shape option. Drawing same shape on top. and connecting them with the arc like this. I'll match them and make these connections more smooth. Let's close the shape on top And fill it with the current color. All base shapes are complete. We can proceed to shading. And I'll start with creating a layer above this one and clipping it. Picking the first color and the brush that can be found in the bundle for this tutorial. I'm showing how to make this brush in the glass apple tutorial on Patreon. 
To apply it in a proper way, we should rotate the canvas to 90 degrees. The brush size is at maximum value. I am making the stroke along the shape without lifting the pencil up. After that, I am going to transformation and picking distort from the menu. Let's drag this dot on the right side down carefully until these lines follow the shape of this arc. Alright, let's go to layers and duplicate it. We need to change the blending mode of this layer to multiply. Then click on the arrow and drag it down so that each line with a lighter color is located above the line with a darker color. Finally, I'll create a layer above this, also clip it and set it to multiply straight away. Change the brush to soft brush. Ok, this is too big. Around 4% will be fine. I'll draw vertically on the right side first. And then on the left. I'll edit it a little. In addition to that, I will add a shadow here on top, with a small angle. After that, merge these layers and duplicate this one. Flip it horizontal. And using magnetics, move it to the left side. Now let's shade the remaining parts of the top and bottom. Let me get rid of this drawing guide. And I'll start with this one creating a layer and clipping it. I'll grab the second color and paint the corners. More on the left and less on the right one. Changing the color into one below. and painting in the center with an angle. Alright, let's go here and also create a layer with a clipping mask above it. I'll start with dark brown. The opacity is at 85%. Drawing on the sides like this. Then picking this orangey color and drawing vertically here. Let's also add a bit of highlight with this yellow. I'll reduce the opacity and size and draw slightly here. After that I'll go back to dark brown, create a new layer, clip it and set it to multiply. I'll darken this corner and also this one, not pressing on the pencil. 
The upper part is ready. Let's shade the lower one. But before shading, I'll do this. Create a layer here. We have the color already selected. I'll change the brush to Studio Pen. And draw a shape like this, consisting of two arcs. I'll edit this one. Draw another one. Also edit it. Make sure to close the shape at the corners. Here I will erase this line. And fill it. Now let's alpha lock this layer and select this light shade. I'll go back to soft brush. Make the size a little bigger and paint on the right side. Let's keep it like this for now and we'll come back to it later. I'm going to shade this part. For that I'm creating a new layer above this one and clipping it. Let me grab this dark brown and draw on the left side slightly. Let's make the size very low and draw a cast shadow coming from this vertical column. Well, this is done. I'll pick this yellow for the highlight. Draw slightly on this corner. And then make the strokes with an angle. Then I'll switch back to the dark color. Create another layer here. Clip it and set to multiply. I'll apply it here as a shadow. After that go to the layer with this shape and select eraser, which is set to soft brush. I will just erase the edges slightly to soften them. We have the last part left to shade. Let's create a layer for it and clip. I'm switching to brush and using same color shading the left side. I'll make the size smaller and add a bit of color here. After that grab yellow and highlight this area with vertical strokes. Picking the dark color again, creating one more layer, clipping it and changing its mode to multiply. I'll only darken the left side. Well, I think I can erase this edge of the shadow 
a bit more to blend the colors. This part of the drawing is complete. Let's now work on the glass part. I'm creating a new layer above this one and selecting the second color from the last column. Changing the brush to Studio Pen. First of all, let's draw a curve like this. Not very high. On the sides, I will try to repeat the glass shape. Here too. And at the bottom I will continue drawing these lines vertically down. Here comes the right one and then on the left. Let's close the shape here and fill it with the color. I'll fix these corners. This curve. And also this one. I always try to clean up my work before shading, to make it look nice in the end. Alright, it's fine now. Let's change the color into this one above and create a new layer. I'm going to draw a line from here, smoothly transitioning into a curve. I'll wait a second to make the quick shape work. Let me edit it. Then I'll draw this short line on top and draw an arc on the left, like this, also using quick shape tool. I'll connect them with another arc, drag and drop the color inside it. After that I will create one more layer and switch back to the previous color. I'm drawing a curve similar to the one in the top part of the glass. Let me erase it here. And now we need to connect its ends with an arc. I'll edit it this way, so the thickness of the glass at the bottom is constant. Alright, something like this. Let me connect it. And fill it. I'll fix this corner. 
pick the color from here, go to this layer and draw this way. That's what I wanted. Now picking the previous color, creating a layer below this yellow shape and drawing a curve here. Connecting and filling it with a color. That's better. Let me grab this color on top and create a layer below this one. I'll first continue this line. And from here make a curve like this. Let's close the shape at the bottom and drag the color into it. Let's check what we've got. Well, it's fine. Before shading the sand and adding details inside the glass, I'll do this. Create a layer above all layers with the sand. Go to the layer with the glass shape and get it selected in the menu. Also set its opacity to zero. We can see the selection and work with it now. So I'm going to the color disk and double tapping here to select the pure white color. In the brushes I'm picking soft brush. Going to the new layer and drawing on the left side of the selection this way. I'll draw one more time. Let's open the layer, set the blending mode to lighten and reduce the opacity to 65%. After that I'll create another layer. Grab this violet color and I'll set the layers mode to overlay straight away. Now when we draw on the right side of the selected area, the color is changing and becoming a little darker than it was. Let me pick a razor that is set to soft brush. Go to this layer and erase it a little on top. I'll also make this outline narrower. It's not a realistic style drawing, more like a fantasy style. So I care more about beauty of colors and shapes. Not deselecting yet, it's still active. I'm creating a layer underneath all sand layers, changing the color into this one and applying it on top of this shape. After that I'll pick this yellow. Make it even bigger and draw behind this sandy mountain. Note that the brush opacity is not full and I'm not applying much pressure on the pencil while drawing this. Alright, now let's pick this light blue and draw on the upper part behind the sand. After that we can deselect. 
let me grab this violet and create a layer right above the background. I will paint in the middle of the canvas slightly. Ok, it's time to add some shading on the sand. We can merge some layers that are already shaded, just to reduce the number. And I will start from this area. Well, this layer has done its job and can be deleted. I will create a layer above this one, clip it, go to the color palette and select this color on the side. In the brushes I'll select my sugar brush that you will also find in the bundle. Let's shade the upper edge. Then switch to yellow and paint in the middle of the shape. After that I'm picking this color in the first column, creating a layer above this one and also clipping it. Drawing on the left side of the shape. Then selecting the color on the right, Let me make the size a bit smaller and draw in the center like this. I'm going even darker and painting at the bottom. Finally selecting yellow color for the highlight. Applying it on the right side and a little on the left. I'll go a little down on both sides and highlight the edges. Also paint this flowing sand. Now I will switch to eraser set to same brush. Go to the base layer and start erasing it from the bottom upwards not pressing too much to keep some particles. Let me zoom in, make the brush size a little smaller and erase more on the sides to make it look more natural. I hope it's still visible for you. And we can continue shading. And now let's work on this yellow sandy pyramid. I'm going here and prior to shading I will make this peak sharp. Use an eraser. Very sharp. Now it looks better. And maybe let's finish the upper part of the hourglass before moving down. I have this yellow color 
pickings to the pen, creating a layer here, and drawing a circle for the sun, tapping for the perfect shape, and dragging the color inside it. I will blow it around 12.5%. Let's also change the layers mode to add. After that I'll create a layer above, pick white color from the disk, go to organic brush set and select rainforest from here. I'm drawing a cloud of a random shape. I'll erase it on the side with a soft brush. If you feel that it's too transparent like mine, we can try to duplicate the layer. Now better. I will just erase the lower part of the sun that is hidden under the cloud. The sun looks too bright to me, so I'm going to reduce the layer's opacity just a tiny bit. The upper part is complete. Let's proceed to this one. I'm creating a layer on top of this one, clipping it, changing the color into this one. Let's not forget to grab our sugar brush. I'll shade the right side like this. And then the left one. After that I'll pick yellow. Highlight the pick on the left. Then draw here in the center. And finally on the right edge. This is done. I'm going here to create a new layer with a clipping mask. Let's grab this color on top and draw on the edge. Here comes the last shape, for which I will create a layer that I will clip. I'll start with this color on top. Make the size bigger. And paint this way on the sides and at the bottom. On the left side I'm doing it so it becomes solid color on the edge not textured. Same at the bottom. Then switch into yellow. And highlight in the right side. Now let's create a night sky with half moon and stars. I'll be doing it on a separate layer above this one. I'll start with the stars. Tapping inside the glass and keeping some space for the moon. I'll make the size smaller and add a few more stars. Then pick another stem. Let's try 5%. It works fine. 
If we need to do something with the moon, we need to select it first. And then move it, or scale, or rotate. I'm going to change the layers mode to add. And I will erase this side of the moon slightly using soft eraser. Oops, there is something here. Let me erase it too. The drawing is almost finished. I want to go to this layer with white color. Duplicate it. Flip horizontal. Turn magnetics on. And move it to the right side until it matches with the violet. The last thing I'm gonna do is pick this dark purple, select sugar brush, create a layer above the background and set it to multiply. I will only draw this shadow on the left. And now our day and night hourglass is complete. If you enjoyed this tutorial, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can support me and access more content on my Patreon page. You'll find all links in the description bar below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.